So we've had our 2024 Mustangs for a few days now. We've been driving these cars around, and the more we drive them, the more we find some cool little things that Ford did that we may not have noticed at first. So here's five things you may not have known about the 2024 Mustang GT. So the first thing is something we've only seen on our premium. This is kind of cool. When you actually disarm the car, it gives you a little light show, and it does it for the headlights and the taillights. Now on the new Mustang, the turn signals are actually sequential on the front and back. And again, it runs through all of that when you disarm the car. Anybody who's ever killed their battery on their S550 is gonna appreciate the next thing and it's a normal keyhole on the door handle. Now you know the previous generation, the 15 through 23, had that goofy plastic cover that most likely you're gonna break when you try to take it off. Thankfully now, you kill your battery, you have a normal key, and it opens like it used to. So it's been a long time since a Mustang actually said Mustang on it. I mean, people know these cars, that iconic running horse tells you exactly what it is. With well, a 24, Ford actually recognized a lot of the heritage in their car. Not only do they add lots of different logos of the horse all over the car, there's a couple of really cool Easter eggs that we found. We're taking this car apart. This one I think is really cool. A lot of people won't see it, but if you pop the air box off, take the lid, underneath is a list of every displacement, every V8 engine that has come in the Mustang since 1964. Now up front, you have the running ponies on the headlights and also one on the windshield, but out back, Ford did something really cool. So right on the bottom of the back glass, Ford pays homage to all the generations of the Mustang. And we stuck a piece of paper behind it so you can see it a little bit clearer, but you have your classic Mustang, your Mustang 2, your Fox body, your SN, your S197, your S550, and then finally the seventh generation, the 2024 S650. This one's a little odd, but when we're taking the taillights apart, we noticed that they actually put another rendering of the S650 only on the passenger side taillight. So I think we can agree we all hate door chimes. Well, the Mustang got rid of it and replaced it with this almost galloping noise that's very, very boomy, especially if you have the B&O sound system. So the last thing on the list is something you may have actually heard about, but that is the remote rev feature. So what is it? It allows you to rev your Mustang with your remote control. What is the point of it? There is no point at all, but it's one of those things when you get this car, you're gonna show your friends just because it does it. Now, we've actually found a great use for this here at CJ's. You know, for years I've made Mustang videos with exhaust where I have to sit in the car and rev it up. Now I can do it with the remote control. So how does it work? Basically, you lock the car and you hit the button twice to remote start it. When it starts, it'll go to a high idle. Once that idle slows down, hit unlock and lock once, it'll give you a quick rev to let you know that it's working. Hit unlock and lock again, it'll give you three much louder revs. Real quick before we do this, I do wanna mention that your brand new 24 Mustang will not be as loud as this car. This actually has an early production MBRP kit on it that'll be available soon on our website with a video coming soon. As a bonus, I wanna mention, I think with the exception of the people who make hood strut kits, we can all be thankful. Finally, factory hood struts on a brand new Mustang. So I'm sure as we drive these cars, we'll probably find lots of new little cool things there, but Ford actually put some thought into the 650. There's a lot of cool stuff that I didn't even notice when I started driving these cars. But we definitely have big plans for our cars, so you haven't already, click that subscribe button and stick around for plenty of S650 content.